Due to extensive cross-border traffic, there is a very high risk of the Ebola outbreak spreading, not only across the Democratic Republic of Congo, but also to neighboring countries such as Uganda. In a joint response effort funded by UK aid, UNICEF, together with the government of Uganda and the Uganda Red Cross Society, have launched a vigorous Ebola preparedness campaign in the bordering districts. In a coordinated effort, screening tents across border points have been established to protect Ugandans from Ebola and to stop the virus from spreading. Our major work is to recognize the ill person, isolate, notify, in the case of there is an, a suspected person, then we give support. This way, not only busy points of entry are monitored, but also rural areas where people cross over freely and frequently now have screening points set up. Breaking the chains of transmission, water sanitation and hygiene interventions on community level have been a critical element in preventing the disease outbreak. Through the widespread adoption of safe hygiene practices, influential community leaders are setting an example and spreading the message for others to make responsible choices for the well-being of the community. Irrespective of race, color and religion, we are telling you Ebola will not segregate. So wherever you are, you need to be ready and understand that Ebola kills. We have trained the LOCs, the, the VHTs, that in case they get any suspected case, they should report before they interacted with that person. Now, if, if you don't evolve local leaders, then the ownership of these, you know, ownership of these activities, ownership of these messages will not be there. By training volunteers and health workers in Ebola prevention and control, these health messages are reaching deep and far into communities likely to be affected. After uh, this training, we expect the volunteers to go back to their communities and start sensitizing the local people. They have to reach at least every individual, whether it's going to church, whether it's going to schools, whether it's going door to door, they have to reach everyone and send out the message on Ebola. Before the Red Cross visited here at Nyavgando parents, they told that we were not having the, these washing facilities, but now we have them. People are reminded to wash their hands with soap, that touching and hugging friends and neighbors is a potential health risk, and that burial practices need to be modified to minimize the risk of Ebola spreading at funerals. <laughs> Furthermore, Health education sessions at local health facilities inform patients and their caretakers on a regular basis. In twice a week, we can talk about the signs and symptoms of Ebola. Uh, the second time, we talk about the prevention. Yes, and then we talk about the awareness and notification to DHO's office. By involving key community influencers, the district, local leaders, including spiritual and religious leaders, teachers, volunteers and health workers, this public health campaign marks a big step towards preventing Ebola in Uganda.